Alright, geometry benchmark 5-1. Trigonometric functions and their inverses. Uh, we're going to use SOHCAHTOA. S-O-H-C-A-H T-O-A to solve these problems when we have right triangles and angles and sides. The sine of an angle I'm going to, you can also think of it this way. So and cosine adjacent over hypotenuse, the sine is opposite over hypotenuse, and then tangent is the opposite side over the adjacent side. It'll help us memorize and help us solve these problems. First problem, I have 77 degrees, so I'm going to mark the angle. And I notice I have my, I have two sides that are right next to it, so they both look like they're adjacent. Uh, this is definitely the hypotenuse, the 35, because it's across from the right angle. So this must be my adjacent side. The opposite side would be over here, but we don't have anything written there, so let's not write that word down to confuse us. So we just have the A and the H. I look over in my SOHCAHTOA, and here's my A and my H. So it's cosine. So I have cosine of an angle. The angle happens to be 77 degrees. Equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And then to solve this, I'm going to put this, I'm going to make proportions, and then cross multiply. X times 1 equals cosine of 77 times 35. Now be careful if you type in the calculator this way. Hit equals after that cosine of 77 before you type in 35. Or if you just do 35 times cosine of 77, it'll be fine too. Either way. This way you don't have to hit equals in between. And you should turn out to be about 7.9. That's just the length of a side, so just units. That's that first one. Number two. My angle's up here. Now here I have my side opposite, furthest away from it, and my adjacent side. Again, my hypotenuse is across from the right angle. I don't want to write that word down because there's nothing written there. So I have my opposite side, my adjacent side. That's tangent. So tangent of an angle. The angle happens to be x degrees. Equals opposite over adjacent. So write that out. Now in the case where we don't know the angle, we're going to have to type in our calculator second tangent and then the division. So 6.4 divided by 9.2. Oops. And then equals. When you type in second tangent, this little tan inverse will pop up. And then just type in that problem. You don't need to divide 6.4 divided by 9.2 first. Just do it as you're solving it. And that should turn out to be about 34.8 degrees. Okay. I need some more space here, so I need to erase. So hit pause if you're writing something down. Just get rid of all this stuff here. All right, number three. There's my angle. Here I have the side opposite, so I'm going to write down that word. And I have my hypotenuse here. When I look up above, I see opposite and hypotenuse are in the sine. So that's how I know to use sine. So sine of an angle, the angle is 22, equals opposite over the hypotenuse. To solve this, I'm going to make a proportion again, and then cross multiply. So I have sine of 22 times x, so maybe put this in parentheses. It goes 10.8 times 1. To solve, now sine of 22 is just some goofy decimal. Don't get that goofy decimal yet until, the very, until you type in your calculator. But don't put it in there now and then divide 10.8 divided by that decimal. Just type in 10.8 divided by sine 22. And you should be good to go. And that's approximately 28.8 units.
Uh, shortcut wise, I will let you, instead of showing me this whole proportion stuff or solving the proportion, you could just type in your calculator this, the 10.8 divided by sine of 22 right away. When I notice that my x is on the bottom of this for these problems, I just do whatever's on top there divided by the sine or cosine or whatever that is on the left side. Right divided by left. It's got to be in that order. All right, number four. There's my angle. I have an adjacent side. I have my hypotenuse. So I look up above adjacent and hypotenuse is right here again, cosine. So cosine of the angle equals A over H. It's the second letter over the last letter. So A is 12. My H is 15. Again, because I don't know the angle, I'm going to do second cosine. And that's going to make this pop up on your calculator of 12 divided by 15. Just type in that division problem. And you should get 36.9 degrees. This could be it.